Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share my design team project with you. It's for Tina over at Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I've used two different sets. One is, I'm not sure how she pronounces that, Claridge's. It's um, a pack of papers. And then I've also used Perfect Pockets. Actually, I did a video on the Perfect Pockets the other day, if you want to reference that. Um, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what all we have. I guess we'll start with this since, I, since it's in my hand. This is, and I made a video with this one, too, of how to make it. Let's just slide these over. This is a double pocket. I printed it out on cardstock, and I've just made a bunch of tags to put in it. And uh, tags and, what do you call it? Clusters. But this is the pocket. And like I said, I do have a video showing how to make that. And then I've just made some clusters. And I've used a lot of Tina's different pieces. These are her dictionary words. Lord Blaine got some mini tags here with seam binding. Here's another cluster. And again, this is with one of her dictionary words. I love these. There's so many ways to use clusters. And I've got a couple more of these mini tags, and these I've just got doubled up. Thought they're cute sticking out of the pocket. And some more clusters, did some stamping, put some bling. So those are fun. Let me just move this. And then I've made this cardstock bag. And these are nice because they're reusable. You can use them for some of your other ephemera, or you can put it in a journal. Now, these are the perfect pocket. This is kit number two. Tina has three different kits, and these come like this. Well, the pocket part. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, and then I've taken and... Um, layered up some of the pieces. All of these pieces come with the kit, too. You get six pockets, and then you get these ephemera pieces to go with it. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a tickle all of a sudden. But I've also put some lace and some bling, and like I said, these are all pieces from the kit. She has three of these kits, and they each come with six pockets and then two pages of the ephemera. So you have plenty to work with. I just love how these came out. I used some mulberry paper, which I don't often use. I, you know, I use it for a while and then forget about it. All right, next, I've got this little bag love this bag. I got these from uh, in Happy Mail from my friend Johnny over at the Junk Journal shop. It's got the clear front here. And I just, you know, this is part of the kit. And these are from the Perfect Pockets kit. And then what I've done is made some envelopes. So let me show you these. And I've just done a torn edge on them. Just put a, you know, a few little decorated pieces here. And then in this one, this is a um, window pocket with tracing paper on the back. And I did a video making these. And then just a piece of coffee dyed paper that I've uh, inked up and put in here. So got that one. And then we've got another one. Got some pieces in here. And these are just 
from the, uh, some of them are from uh, the paper pack that I've just made into tags and put some bling and some seam binding. And here's the envelope. Again, it's with the torn edge and I printed it double-sided so it would be pretty all the way around. And then this is just a little flower cut out that Lindsay sent me in some happy mail and I just added another little applique to it. Here's the third envelope. And again, it's got the torn edge and it's double-sided. And I've just put some lace and some little tidbits on that one. And this one also has the window um, journal card with the tracing paper on the back. I thought these were so cute, and I love how they sound. And then another piece of coffee-dyed paper that's been stamped. That goes in there. So that's that piece. Put the envelope over here. And then last but not least, we've got this. It's cute. And again, I made this from uh, cardstock from the paper kit. Just decorated the front a little bit. And this one's a folio. We've got some little, you can use it for journaling or just tear pieces out and use them in your journals. And over here, we've got a pocket with the journal card in, We've got some lace on it. And over on this side, we've got another pocket with a little card. So that's that piece. So I think these turned out really cute. Um, I'm not gonna be able to put these in the shop until tomorrow. So I hope then you'll go over and take a look and what else? That is it. I thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. The kit is beautiful, both of those. I'll put Tina's link to her shop in the description box in case you'd like to get it too. But um, in the meantime, take care, happy crafting, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.